Good evening, and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Here we have the dissection of my concept map on media, media convergence for ETEC 511 at the UBC Masters of Educational Program. So if we start looking at the mind map now, <clears throat> you see here how media convergence is at the center of it and everything leading to its educational impact. <clears throat> so I've, I have here the computing content and, com and communication, how those were uh, early branches of an understanding of media convergence, but uh, through Brit uh, Britannia, but uh, afterwards uh, Jenkins through his article from 2001, came up with the five convergences from media convergence, we have technological, economic, cultural, global, and social slash organic. Now, I want to focus on its educational standpoint and impact. So on the topic of conversation on convergence, Jenkins in 2006 said, creative artists discovering new ways to tell stories and educators tapping into informal communities. Um, so the educational impact up from the cultural um, convergence from there to this point <clears throat> is seeing how classrooms become more diverse and the learning about new perspectives that are less Eurocentric. I think this is extremely important because for a long time, specifically in social studies, there's been this focus on Western Europe's impact on the world where there wasn't many perspectives being told outside of that. And if they were, it was very skewed. Obviously, we've all seen a textbook from Canada in the 90s where it referred to our indigenous people as savage and uncultured, which is not accurate in the slightest sense. So with that media convergence, um, the cultural convergence leading into education is allowing for more diverse learning and histories being told. So looking at the global convergence's impact, so again, tying into the educational impact. <clears throat> so impacted education, by means of allowing teachers and students to discover new and different cultures, societies, and histories. This ties into the cultural emergence uh, w nicely because it is that, again, looking outside the Eurocentric aspect of that. And then for social convergence, you know, as mentioned here, you know, single use devices, when Jenkins read the, wrote this in 2001, he had an idea of what our idea, our concept of a single device would be, i.e. a smartphone, which has every component to it. If we look here, no, it's, uh, if we look here, and I'll get to the technological convergence in a moment, but so social convergence, convergence has impacted education for students are constantly multitasking with their phones. This can be done good or bad because students have instant access to technology, information, internet, they can research anything, but it also presents the opportunity for them to get distracted in class if phones are allowed to be used. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Tumblr, you name it, it's a means of them avoiding work potentially. <clears throat> and then if we go over to the technological, uh, obviously, the transformation of atoms to bits, where multi, uh, multiple technology are intertwined and used simultaneously. Again, we have the smartphone and how that leads into education and educational impact. Technological convergence has affected education in a way that students need to learn and develop their digital literacy skills. This is extremely important because our society has built the workforce and a means in need, you're ne it's necessary for you to learn and develop those skills. Otherwise, the your su success might be limited uh, post-secondary. So, and navigating society without the means of technology is becoming more and more difficult. One thing I could not find, uh, sorry, nope, that's not what I'm saying. And then here we have a example for economic convergence. So I use the example of Star Wars being a single IP where there are movies, TV shows, video games, novels, comic books, and theme parks that are all owned by Disney and Lucasfilm, and they all exist within the same continuity. So here I have a timeline, and it breaks down each piece of, of fiction and where it fits in that timeline. So I think it's very interesting and a nice um, example of convergence where it's multiple forms of media leading to one story. 
Um, here are my references and obviously the sources are underneath for each image or source underneath. Thank you very much and have a great day. Oh, I need to stop. I keep doing that. <laughs> stop recording. <laughs>